So in today's video, we will be checking out three things. Um, three things that I wasn't planning on making a video out of, but uh, upon further consideration, I thought there might be a little value there. So uh, let's get into it. What, what we got here is the USB um, tester that pretty much it's a no-name thing coming out of China. They work fairly well, as far as I can see. And uh, pretty much anybody doing anything on YouTube, you've probably seen one of these before. Um, I got a load tester, which allows you to put an amp draw on said, said device. And just for testing reasons, we got ourselves the old DeWalt uh, DCB090. Um... USB charger adapter that you just slip on your battery. Um, this, I'm just going to test it because I have it and, and, we're, and we're doing those type of things here. Uh, this particular one is rated at 15 watts. Uh, 15 watts, two ports, I'm guessing a one and a half amp per port. I mean, it's nothing special. I, I don't need to question that. It's like someone claiming they got a, a four inch pecker. Sure, I, I'll take your word for it. But uh, yeah. We'll check it out just because it's sitting here and it's new. Uh, the reason you would want something like this, and the reason I, I, I was questioning making a video about it in the beginning, is because it's I bought it mostly just for checking things out as far as as far as uh, videos go. But it, it occurred to me that a lot of things nowadays are coming with more permanent style um, USB chargers. Um, whereas to before you'd have the little brick, you plug it into your thing. If it doesn't work, you switch it out. And if it works, okay, you throw the brick out because you know it was bad. Uh, but now you're seeing in automotive industry, a lot of USB charger type stuff. And in outlets in your house, you're seeing a lot of that. And I mean, they're all replaceable, but they're not as easily replaceable as the little brick that you would throw away. So I think knowing how to work one of these things might be valuable to someone. So that's what we're going to make our video for. Uh, again, what I, the reason I bought this is just to check. Uh, you can check capacity with batteries with these things. And basically, you, you plug it in after the thing's been completely discharged. Let it charge up, and we'll get into it. But this will actually show you how much capacity you put back into the battery, kind of letting you know how much capacity the battery actually has. Uh, it's also good for checking to see if your battery is starting to get tired because as they get tired, they take less capacity. And uh, this guy here, um, you can actually test as far as um, if the output of said charging device, like this here Milwaukee um, battery charger thing for, for their batteries actually works as a USB charger. And this here DeWalt thing. Let's see if they're actually putting out the um, the uh, amps that uh, they say they are. So uh, let's flip the camera around and take a look at the thing. So let's start off with the DeWalt charger. There's not much going on here as far as explanation goes. You plug it in, it runs through its little cycle there, and then uh, tells you the charge state of the battery. I'm going to kind of tilt this up on an angle here so we could avoid a little bit of glare. Now, this is the actual USB charger tester. I'm not sure what that word is, but that evidently is the description of it. Now, right now it's showing you 5.05 volts, which is what's coming out of this guy. And zero amps because we're, we're not currently putting a load on it. Let's walk through the menus real quick. Uh, next, just kind of gives you a different description of voltages going down at the bottom here, and a temperature. This is just a bigger display of um, milliamps and milliwatt hours that are putting put into it. This would be the scenario where you're actually testing the capacity of a battery. So you would plug this in, plug whatever you're charging into this after it's completely dead, of course. And then as it charges up, you'll see how many milliamp hours it put into the battery for it to become fully charged. And that would tell you the capacity, the usable capacity of the battery. So let's get into the load tester. We'll separate them just for ease of filming, I guess we'll call it right now. I mean for now. Now when you first plug it in, it's blinking. Uh, when it's blinking, it's not actually applying a load to the... Um, 
device. Uh, when you hit the button here, that's when it starts it starts pulling a load on the device. Right now we're at 0.25 amps, a quarter amp. Hit that button there, 1.2 power. That is, I believe, measured in watts. And then we got five volts that are coming out of this guy. So coming back to the actual tester, which I forgot to mention, kind of important. Uh, buttons down here, uh, next, or forward and backwards, I guess we should call that. And then we got the other buttons up here, which kind of act as an enter and a, uh, and a backspace. And there is one more down here. This little switch right here turns off um, USB. Sorry, not USB. Bluetooth, which allows you to connect to your phone. Sorry about the hard edit there, but my, um, my battery died on my camera. So this thing's booting back up. We were talking about Bluetooth, I believe. And there we go. And we're connected. Um, like I've said in the past, Apple's pretty good with letting you know as far as what device or what apps want to use what on your phone and I'm a little always a little leery about Chinese apps but this particular one only wanted to use Bluetooth so take that for what it is um, basically what the app is um, you get everything that you get uh, on these individual screens on one screen which is kind of nice there is a recording option on this um, app that's probably more for android because it downloads to an excel file and i i don't think apple would play along with that it's just the way apple is i guess but um yeah so as you go through it you could go um next which changes the screen i think i might have lost connection here hold on all right there we go i, I had to unplug it when i was <laughs> replacing the camera battery but um yeah so you got all the controls down here which would be next allows you to change to the different screens that's the little bar graph there for the amps settings and what have you uh previous uh rotate you could actually rotate the screen around in case you're looking at it from a different angle so now let's look at the actual load tester here plugged in inline um, this is a GoPro battery charger someone saw this once and thought it was uh, some type of grinder <laughs> if you will so um, yeah so we got the load tester here we explained how that works now we're going to hit the button here and actually apply a load to the device and you can see how the um, the amps jumped up to 2.7 or sorry 0.27 you got 0.26 on here I mean we're close then we could actually come in and ramp up the amperage on here and you'll see it correspond here and over there like I said I think this is this uh, DeWalt thing is either 1.5 on each port or three total and you could pull three out of one but we'll find that out right now so you want to do is you want to ramp up the amperage a little little pot over here you got to turn and keep doing that until your voltage starts dropping off that little five volt reading right there and there you go it doesn't like that so yeah this particular guy you're looking at well 1.6 amps per port so let's break this guy down and actually plug it into a device so we can see what it actually looks like when it's charging something all right we, we got it all set up for you it was a uh, not even a second for me it was a whole bunch of trying to figure out how to manage wires and glare all at the same time but we got ourselves a apple charging brick right here um, an official one that they don't send with their phones anymore because they're saving the environment and we got ourselves my old iPhone that about 70% charged and we'll plug her in go deeper big boy uh, Siri likes her likes it when I plug her in I'm not talking to you woman there. 
So there we go. We're looking at 1.15 amps. We're charging it. Like I said, the, most most of your devices will determine what amperage you're charging at, and this one's it's just bouncing back and forth because the iPhone's telling it what what it wants. Skip ahead. Again, 37 milliamp hours we've put into it so far, and. 201 watt hours same stuff just smaller print and then we go back to the line graph here where we got the yellow line at the top is telling you the voltage and the blue line at the bottom is telling you the amps that it's pumping in and back to the original screen I will say and I forgot to mention this that according to the instructions this is capable of doing um, uh, what they, rapid charging, I guess is what it's called. But right next to it is a bunch of little caveats that say it might not work, which probably means it won't work. I don't think I have anything rapid charge devices available to give it a test, but take that for what it is. So that's about it for these two devices here. Um, I think I went over pretty much anything you need to know to use them. I do like that they are allowing you to use a Bluetooth device to take this screen and put it, take the multiple screens and put it all on one screen. That seems helpful, especially if you're old like me and you can't really see little teeny tiny screens like this as well without your grandpa glasses on. But um, yeah, I bought these two together as a kit. Um, it was 30-ish dollars, I believe. I'll put a link in the uh, description if you're interested in it. Uh, they do sell these separately. This one and uh, this one are probably, I've seen them from 15 to $25. It just seemed like it was better just to buy both of them. Both of them. And for what I'm going to use it for, it definitely will come in handy to have both of them. And um, then we looked at this thing, the DeWalt Who Gives a Crap USB <laughs> charger so um yeah as always any questions or comments or concerns leave them down there in the comment section i'll do my best to get back to you uh, i will leave a link for these in the old um description down there if you're interested in something like this and um yeah i think that's about it for this video i want to thank you for watching there you go yeah, uh, like I said, the, like, oh, shit. Let's try that again.